Uncle Hoosh's hat. Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to install ROM flicks for the PC. Uh, this is a really cool new front end. It was released by Marco. Uh, if you go to the link in the description, it's going to take you to the Arcade Punks website. Uh, they have a phenomenal website. Uh, what you're going to want to do is just scroll on down and you'll see ROM, Fli ROM flicks PC edition by Marco and you can get it from archive.org if you click this link. Uh, I just downloaded it from Mega. It's under 600 megabytes. So I just clicked this link and downloaded it from Mega. So go ahead and download that. Uh, once you have it downloaded, you will have a zip file here. And when you do this, uh, once you have it, just right click, click extract here. Um, once it's all done, you'll have a ROMflix folder. So you need to take this folder and I'll show you how big it is. So once extracted, it's a little over a gig. So basically, you're just going to cut and paste it in the root of your C drive. And what, what this seems to be is like a front end, um, but for Kodi. Um, now, when I first launched mine, I have launched it already. Um, and I'm going to show you guys what you're going to do uh, from start to finish. So basically, uh, you have it in the root of your C. And we're going to go in. And you have a shortcut. So we can go ahead and launch the shortcut. Now, the first time I launched it, Cody asked me to go through my firewall. So obviously, I clicked yes and uh, let it go through my firewall. It's got a cool little intro video. And I'll just let it play through. Um, it's not a very long intro. It's pretty cool though. And it's a, a nice looking front end as well. Uh, and very simple to use. So th that's a really nice thing. Is It's very user friendly. Now from what I've seen from it. It looks like it's a, for 64 bit PCs only. Um, so what, what you're going to want to do first. Is uh, I'm using my keyboard. I don't have a controller hooked up at this point, but I'm using my keyboard. And let's go to settings and press down. And then on tools, we'll press enter. So you're going to want to, if you don't want to store your ROMs on the C drive, then you can go to storage switcher. Now I am going to store mine on the C drive, but I'll show you how you can do this. So we'll press enter. Now this is the, these are not in English, but you can press Dorgan <laughs> and then hit OK. And then we can go ahead and choose uh, where we want to put have our games. So whatever um, you want to do. So I'm going to do C, and I'm just going to do let's see, Romflix, Romflix downloads. And then I'll go to OK. So you would just click JA. And hit OK. Next thing you're going to want to do is just go down two more to ROMflix Downloader. Press Enter. And you can choose here. There's Classics, Nintendo, Handhelds, Sega, Sony. So for now, I'll just go into Classics, and you can see we can get Atari 7800, which I've already installed, um, and they come with, with the covers. Then we have Virtual Boy, I mean there is a lot here. So for this video, I'll just do Virtual Boy. So I'm going to press Enter on Virtual Boy. And uh, it's probably going to be faster for you. Um, mine seems to be going a little slow, but it went a little faster for the Atari. Uh, it's probably just my internet. 
I'm not sure, maybe because I'm recording. So basically you would do this for any system that you um, that you choose to download and I will show you once this is completed um, it's got a metadata it's got the artwork as well as as the games themselves um, now after we get them downloaded there is two more steps very simple steps uh, to follow But this is a really cool front end. I thought this was uh, an awesome thing. I, I saw it on Arcade Punks and I thought, you know, I'd like to do a how-to video for anyone else that wants to enjoy this. Because uh, it, it's a pretty cool setup and very user-friendly, like I said. I mean, so far, all we've had to do is set where we want to download our ROMs to. And then we are choosing our ROMs right now. So she's almost finished up here. Now I believe that there is an Android version of this uh, as well as Raspberry Pi. So now extract, you're going to want to hit enter on yes. And we'll just let it do its thing. Okay, so we'll hit enter on okay. So now we'll hit escape, escape. And we'll go to, we're going to go find Virtual Boy, wherever it may be. <laughs> there it is. Now here we press down on our keyboard, and we'll hit enter on add ROMs. And we'll hit enter on scan for new ROMs. So now that that's done, we can press escape. And we'll hit escape again. And now we can just press enter on Virtual Boy. And there we go. So no metadata for Virtual Boy, but it uh, looks like we do have the wheel art up top and the box art on the left. And if we hit escape, we can go out. Uh, another one that I've done was Atari 7800. I did that earlier uh, when I first tested this out and it was pretty cool so Atari 7800 we'll go here and if we press down this one has metadata wheel art as well as box art so I mean here we go we have some options here you can change uh, certain things this again this is just kinda like Cody so what I haven't tried yet and I'll try right now is let's launch a game so once we once we pop the game open this is the view that you're gonna see uh, a little more information again some box art we've got the system right there I'll press enter on that and there it is to get out of the game I press escape now, once I figure out how to configure my controller, um, this was basically to get you guys get it up and running, show where you want to download your ROMs to, and show you how to download the ROMs. So it's that easy. Again, once I get the controller all figured out and stuff like that, I will make a, a follow-up video uh, to get everybody up and running. I'll be doing it with a PlayStation 3 controller, um, which is going to be just like your 360 controller, which most people use. Uh, but again, guys, this is this is Romflix for the PC, and I believe it's for Android and Raspberry Pi as well. This was released by Marco, so go check out Arcade Punk's website. Grab this. This is an awesome front end, very user friendly, very easy to use. I, I'm I'm just learning it right now. I mean, I'm posting this. All I did was download the Atari 7800, figured out how to work it, and then I wanted to post a how-to to let you guys know exactly how you can use it and how easy and simple it really really is so again guys I really appreciate you watching please like the video subscribe to the channel and have a good day